If you've got more abandoned projects than completed ones, then hit thumbs up because this video is for you. Today I want to talk about getting things done and how to stay motivated when you're struggling to complete your games or whatever other projects you're running across and well, struggling to get done. Now, again, if that resonates, drop a actually drop a comment. Let me know what it is that you're struggling to get done if it's not a game or if you are working on a game. Let me know what the, what the game is. I'm a little bit curious. But let's go over a couple of things that I've used in the past that I think work really well. The first one I think is the most valuable and the most useful, but takes a little bit of effort. And that's to figure out a way to make yourself accountable. Now, this comes down to, at least for me, having somebody else who I'm reporting to on what I'm doing and knowing that I'm going to be reporting to them regularly. And then that gives me this motivation to get things done. So when I'm coming up with an example, say I'm working on my game and I'm, I have an inventory system that I want to get done. I'm thinking, okay, I've got this inventory system. I want to get it done by next week. If I tell somebody that I'm going to get this inventory system done by next week, especially somebody that I'm going to talk to next week, then I'm more likely to do it. Saying it out loud, getting it kind of out there in front of other people, at least for me, typically motivates me to get it done. Now, if you're looking at, well, who do I tell? Who could I possibly talk to about this that would care and that you know would actually keep me motivated? The number one thing that I recommend for game developers or just developers in general is setting up or joining some sort of a mastermind group. I've talked about these in the past. I've done some matchmaking for them in the past. If you're interested in that, uh, you can check out the past video about it or leave a comment down below. And if there are a lot of comments, Maybe people can start to get together or maybe I'll put together some setup for them. But a mastermind group is essentially where you get together once a week or once a month, ideally once a week with a couple other developers, talk about what you're working on, what you want to get done, and then um, what you actually got done. The what you actually got done part is what works really well for me because that adds the accountability and then makes me actually accomplish things because I don't want to show up to the meeting going, yeah, I was going to do all those things, but... I didn't, and I found that it works for a lot of other people. So accountability, number one thing. I think that it's one of the reasons that companies are a lot more able to successfully finish projects than solo developers because there's lots of accountability. Not that they're always able to, but it's probably the number one driver and the number one thing I would recommend. Now, if you don't have a group, you can always tell a friend or your wife or your spouse or whoever it is, somebody else that you know that you can talk to regularly and just let them know what you're doing. And then when when they're coming and asking you questions, you're going to probably feel more motivated too, just as an alternative. But I, again, highly recommend just get a mastermind group if you can. So what's number two? The second best thing for me when I'm struggling and I just like having a hard time moving forward. I don't know what to do it, when I'm running into a technical issue when I'm like, I don't know how to technically finish this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, the problem is seeming confusing. I'm just getting lost. What I'll do is commit everything to source control and then start deleting. I'll actually look through my code and start seeing like, where can I merge and combine and delete stuff? So this is a side effect of my constant abstraction and stripping things apart. I like to rip things apart and make small little classes that do small things. But occasionally, uh, I'm working on my projects for a while, and I realize that this is just getting confusing. Something's just too difficult. Um, a system is too hard to work with, and I will literally just delete it out and then rewrite it from scratch with the other piece. I'll have the other one just off to the side and just rewrite the thing. I'll, I'll rewrite it in a way that seems a little bit better. That's a benefit of source control. And what I found is that either one, I'll come up with a perfect solution and find the way around the problem, the thing that I was stuck with that was kind of blocking me from moving forward and usually what's demotivating me. Or I'll... Um, figure out that, oh, okay, I was on the right path the other time, but it was just this one little thing that I was missing. And usually that that works really well. Plus, I'm a big, big fan of just deleting code. Um, there was one other thing that I really like to do, and that is actually plan and put up a checklist or check list of stuff that I want to get done. So if you're not already doing this and you're trying to stay motivated, put together either a Trello board or 
whatever system that you like to use. I've been using Obsidian a lot lately after recommendations from a lot of friends. And just use something where you can keep track of all the tasks that you want to get done. And you start to struggle and just feel unmotivated, you can just look through there for something that looks like a fun, easy task, like, oh, make the UI pretty and fancy or something else like that to keep you going and kind of reinvigorate and remotivate you. I found that for me, adding a flashy, fancy little UI element or something like that can also just kind of revitalize me. Plus, having a plan is really the only way to stay motivated and stay all the way focused throughout the project. Not really motivated, but at least focused throughout the project to get it done. If you want to get it done, you've got to have some sort of an outline and some sort of a plan. Some people, a couple of them, the rare ones, can keep that in their head and actually plan for everything and deal with it all. But most of us need to actually write stuff down or we're going to forget what we're doing and not really have, I guess, a good outline of where to go. So I'm curious if you guys have other thoughts, other um, ways to stay on task. This is a, a complicated or a common, a, a common question that gets asked. It gets asked all the time. Like, how do I stay motivated? How do I keep going with my project? Um, and again, I think number one, just showing it to people, getting it out there in front of people, especially if you can get a group. I've seen so many people in mastermind groups just be extremely successful, get their games out there and actually done. And some of them get publishers now and are doing some really, really big, awesome things. Um, actually, more, more than one. So it, it's really, really the way to go, uh, some accountability. So anyway, if there's something you would like to see, drop a comment down below. If you have a question about something, happy to take those as well. And if not, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, like, subscribe, and share. And if you're interested in multiplayer game development, don't forget to check out the multiplayer mastery course they've just changed up everything yesterday and there's a whole new lesson on character creation with an awesome new ui because i thought hey uis are fun too anyway thanks again don't forget to like subscribe and all that stuff and i'll see you in the next video bye